What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the Octobers. I know you guys have been checking out the news, man. We are living in a brand new era. We have AI running everywhere. It's actually pretty scary. We have UAPs all in the news. A lot of highly sophisticated individuals are saying that they're seeing UFOs flying around and they can't explain these things, man. Maybe it's all a hoax. Maybe it's something that we haven't even thought of yet, or maybe they are here. But in honor of that, we are watching Signs. So I have seen this movie, man. I saw it probably in around 2005, 2006. I don't really remember the plot of the movie too much, but I know this movie scared the heck out of me so I know you have not seen this movie but would you like to tell us something about it yeah um it came out in 2002 it was directed by M Night Shyamalan never heard of him before so if I pronounce it wrong so sorry and it was a 74% on Rotten Tomatoes okay let me put you on the spot Mrs. October are you a believer of what of UAPs, aliens. Are we alone in this What's universe? What's UAP? Because I only know uh, UFOs. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. They rebranded the name because UFO was too... They laughed at it a lot. People don't take that phrase very serious. So are you a believer or not? Yeah, because you showed me that thing about that guy who was who lived on that farm and he got taken up and you know that weird stuff happened? Barney. Oh, Barney and Betty Hill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the thing that's interesting to me, guys, is if there is a such thing as zero point propulsion energy, if we can eventually move by not using propulsion systems, but actually bend space and time to propel ourselves you know, through the universe, that'd be insane. That would be living in the future. Like I feel Nicholas like eventually Texa we're headed to that. Tesla like. did, right? Nicholas Tesla. Um, so he was trying to get like free energy, basically. That's oh a whole God. different thing. Oh but anyways, God. man, if you're into this type of stuff, like, subscribe, hit us up on the Patreon. I'm excited. Do you have anything to add? No, I just heard M. Night Shyamalan is a good director. It's signs, guys. Here we go. I'm excited. Let's go. Creepy already. Do you think they'll be the gray ones or the green ones? I don't remember what they look like. I don't even know if we see them in this movie, but I don't know. I don't remember that part. I've seen it, man, but it's been a long time, for real. But see, back then I didn't have any knowledge of like what an alien was or right. like, So I'm excited to see this interpretation. Mel Gibson. He's obviously got some PTSD. Or had a nightmare. Mel Gibson actually just directed the movie we watched, Hacksaw Ridge. Check it out. We'll link it there, if we remember. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's how you get them. Where are they? Morgan! How do they not get smacked in the face? They are. Oh. Hello? Oh, oh, where's Morgan? Are you in my dream too? This is not a dream. Dogs are barking. Woke us up. He's a very calm and patient man. I know. <laughs> Crop circle, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's no. That's an alien that did that. Yes, sir. That's an alien. Ain't. Mm -mm, no one can just do that. They didn't have a tool like that. That was like a cool design, though. Oh, wait, like three planets in a moon. Mm hmm. It was strange finding the crops that way. All right, then. Uh... Thanks for your patience, Lee. Yeah, bye. Houdini peed. I think he's sick. Why don't you take him outside? I'll call Dr. Crawford. Oh, no. He'll know what to do. Maybe the dog's got radiation poison. Or something like that, yeah. That was quick, Caroline. I only called you folks two hours ago. Oh, Mrs. Kendallman twisted her ankle. <laughs> Put in store this morning and started spitting on the new skateboards. By the time I got there, Mrs. Kendallman had sprayed the whole damn place. <laughs> so what happened to your crops? Mm. Dang. Burn these again. Oh, thought he was cooking. I was about to say, go ahead, little chef. <laughs> I know, what the heck? It's contaminated. You don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Bro, that scared me. I didn't think that dog was about to snap. No, because it knows something's up. Oh, my toe. What the heck? 
He said, I don't want that water. It tastes funny. It's not broken. Now, what kind of machine can bend a stock of corn Maybe. over without breaking no. it? She's like, oh. That just happened. Please stop calling me father. What's wrong? Yeah, I saw in the picture he was a priest. Why did the dog start acting crazy though? Because he's drinking the water? I think so, or like whatever was around. <laughs> oh. Did he hurt you? No. I'm glad the kids are okay, but that sucks, dude. Like, man. And he had to do it. That sucks. He had to, man. That poor little boy. Where were you? Yeah, where was he? <laughs> what was he doing in there making a um, dip? I guess he thought he could trust the dog. <gasps> what? This movie makes me sad already. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? What the hell? Oh, what? <laughs> What's wrong with the water next to your bed? It tastes old. What's that boy doing? <laughs> That's how the boys sleep too. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. What are you thinking about? Why do you talk to mom when you're by yourself? Makes me feel better. Does she ever answer back? She never answers me either. That didn't look like no brothers to me. Explain that crazy. You know, curse and stuff. <laughs> it doesn't sound natural when I curse. Explain noises. Are you gonna do this or what? No, I'm not. <laughs> ah! I'm insane with anger! <laughs> ass bitch! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna tear your head off! I'm losing my mind! Bro, don't run into no alien. It's time for an ass whooping! <laughs> I cursed. I heard. <laughs> As long as they're not coming inside, right? They can run on the house, right? That's cool. Are you sure it says Lionel Pritchard? No, it ain't cool. <laughs> All the houses in the damn galaxy, y'all at my house. Oh my God. Do you chase it or? No. <laughs> and do what? You got an old baby monitor around? Bo had an old baby monitor. You can use Bo's baby monitor as a walkie talkie. Oh no, don't get that involved with this. It only works one way, but. That'll do fine. That is until someone gets you no walkie-talkie left over at the station. That'd be dope. Hey, Bo. Dexter's lab. Yeah. Give me. My laboratory. Didi. It has dust in it. This one. A hair. What is going on with this water? Morgan took a sip and it has his amoebas in it. <laughs> so how are you, Meryl? Huh? <laughs> Great word, I guess. I never got a chance to tell you, but I I thought you were moving in here with your brother after. Oh, that's his brother. I thought it was his son. Not much. No, they said Uncle Meryl. I didn't miss that. Mm hmm. This is the beginning. <laughs> but why does he got so many glasses of water just laying around? The girl. Something's up with her in that water. Okay, so far I have. It was very dark. Yes, it was. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> yes, it was. Don't you think that's kind of odd? I don't know whether to look for a giant or a midget. No, he definitely wasn't a midget. <laughs> I, I would uh, say so, yes. Probably. Shorter than the corn socks. Mm -hmm. It was very dark. <laughs> yes, it How certain are you that this was a male? Oh, I don't, I don't know any girls who could run like that. <laughs> I've seen some of those women on the Olympics. They can run like the wind. <laughs> She's just trying to prove her point. <laughs> and who can jump clean over me. She thinks an Olympic athlete, don't game. 
For what? I don't know. In Scan- Scandinavian one. <laughs> and started yelling and cussing because they didn't have her favorite cigarettes at the vending machine. She scared a couple of the customers. No one's seen her since. And my point is, we don't know anything about the person you saw. And we should just keep all possibilities available. Facts? Excluding the possibility that a female Scandinavian Olympic <laughs> last night, what else might be a possibility? <laughs> Asking questions. And I don't appreciate sarcasm. <laughs> Do you two have anyone who might have a grudge or something against you? Maybe a, a church member who, who might not have liked the fact that you left the church? I don't think so. Okay, I was out of line with the whole female Scandinavian Olympian thing. <laughs> I'm pretty strong and I'm pretty fast. And I was running as fast as I could and this guy, he was, he was just toying with us. There's only food under the sofa. <laughs> Every station. Ball. Turn up the volume. That's from in India? Merged. That's so creepy, man. An extraterrestrial life. And the quantity in which it has appeared implies the coordination of hundreds of individuals. There are only a limited number of explanations. Like India and Pennsylvania, that's not close at all. Yeah, they're happening all over the world. Extraterrestrials. <laughs> What in God's name is going on? <coughs> I would be so skeptical. Just boards and ropes. Right. We heard that. Mm -hmm. But there's so many now. You know, think straight. I'm, I'm going to go back to the station and have a cup of Edgar's coffee. And She's pretty laid back. Take them into town and get their mind and your mind on everyday things. Some good advice. Yeah, but during <laughs> this, like yeah, during this time, I don't know about that. And you take care of yourself. No, they can go into town. Brand. The world ain't that crazy yet. Everyone just thinks this is the government making a hoax. Well, I'd be digging in the backyard making a bunker right now if I seen that. The 18th reported crop sign found in that country in the last 72 hours. Come here, we turn the radio. <laughs> there are signs intended to be seen from the sky. No radio either. Just for a while. Yo, let us know in the comments. What do you think about all this stuff in the news? Do you think all, do you think all this stuff's real or do you think it's a hoax? Or do you think it's just the government not wanting to admit that they figured out a new propulsion system and they're slowly just getting us used to the idea? I'm like both ways. I want to believe, you know what I'm saying? I want to believe, but... Sure. My gut says it's all a hoax. It's all just US technology or whatever. Oh, they're so cute. Be back for pizza in 15. I'll be like, I'll be back right now for pizza. It's just a bunch of crock. They're trying to sell sodas. It's plain and simple. <laughs> Been watching these reports since morning. I have seen 12 soda commercials so far. <laughs> Do you have any books on extraterrestrials? Last row, third book on the left, honey. Dang, she knew that. I thought it was the country people who believed in the UFOs. Yeah, because they're the ones who get their animals swiped up. Yeah. First one. It was asthma medicine, right, Father? I ask you a favor, Father? I need to clear my conscience. Will you listen to me? <laughs> I am not a reverend anymore. I haven't been for six months. You know this. I've got it figured. You do? I've had two separate folks tell me there have been strangers around these parts last couple nights. It's a military procedure. You send out a reconnaissance group. Very small. <laughs> His face. <laughs> you got a pamphlet or something I can read? That's what got me as I got older. I realized that so many people that are so much smarter than me and are very serious people, they don't have the answers to these things, so. The day you hit that 507 footer over the left field wall. It's still the record, right? Got the bat at home on the wall. Why weren't you in the pros making stacks of cash and getting your toes licked by beautiful women? <laughs> record most people don't know about. He has the minor league strikeout record. Merrill's a class A screw up. Didn't matter what the coaches said. Didn't matter who was on base. He would just whip that back through the air as hard as he could. He has more strikeouts than any two players. What a dick. <laughs> you really got the strikeout record? He was swinging for the fences then, wasn't he? He said, go big or go to the corner stocks. <laughs> what is he doing there anyways? <laughs> what was that exchange? <laughs> but what was he doing there? Like, what was he doing on that clipboard? I don't know. Signing up for the military? I think so. <laughs> well, has this thing about her drinking water? It's like a tick people have, except it's not a tick. Is that right? Thirst! 
<laughs> I'll take it. I said the F word a couple of times <laughs> and bastards. <laughs> Is douchebag a curse? I suppose that would depend on its usage. <laughs> oh, John, you're a douchebag for kissing Barbara. It's a curse. Then it's not 37, it's 71. Dang, what was, <laughs> what was she saying that so much? Did you see that guy behind? <laughs> like, what in that? Pharmacy crowded? I don't want any one of you spending time with Tracy Abernathy alone. <laughs> that kind of looked like the director, was it him? Is that him? I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. Like that guy? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the director. Who is he? What is it? I found it in the basement. I'm gonna use it as a walkie-talkie. What if it's catching a signal from them? It's not. But it wasn't working. Morgan, this crop stuff is about a bunch of nerds who never had a girlfriend in their lives. <laughs> Feel special. It's a scam. Nerds were doing it 25 years ago. New nerds are doing it again. There's <laughs> noise. It's broken, Morgan. It's just gonna keep doing this. Maybe some new batteries. We might lose a signal. This is exactly what the nerds want. I'm getting out now. Isn't it crazy how much paranoia is costing? Mm hmm. You hey, move. Not English, though. You heard the voices, right, Uncle Meryl? I heard them, Morgan. Probably picking up another baby monitor. Is it clicks? Is it? Let's go! See, this is why we're not watching TV. <laughs> I'm letting go now. No, Dad! Don't do it! You'll lose the signal. Don't let go. It gets clearer the higher you hold it. He's smart. He knows a lot for living on a farm, for real. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, I don't want you climbing on the car. <laughs> she didn't listen at all. Stop! There's two of them talking. What? They sound like some damn prey menace, don't they? They like with big eyes. They said this this line has been compromised. <laughs> he better not have been able to understand that from that book. That poor dog is like, please let me in the house. There's crazy things out here. What? That dog. That dog said, don't don't stab me. Well, I gotta get these chips. <laughs> There ain't no damn way. I'm like, what you barking at, boy? What's out there in them corn stalks? I Aliens, know. you say? But our dogs would do that, and you just can't trust them things. I'd say, let's go in, girl. When this turns out to be all just make-believe. I gotta eat some chips because I'm scared. An alien's about to jump out, I know it. If it does, I'm, I'm gonna freak out, for real. You know... There's a fine line between this being horrifying and very fine. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because what if Mel Gibson's low-key telling us something? I'm not going to report this or anything you do to my crops, to the news or TV or anybody. You're not going to get famous. So he doesn't believe this. He really thinks it's a hoax. I would, too. Not me. You would just assume it was aliens? Yeah, because who's going to have... Who in this little town... Where they know everybody. The guy is literally at the at the military thing signing off. The one that knows the answers to talk crap about you. How the heck are, is someone in that town going to perform a task like that? Without somebody knowing. Pretty easy to do. Nah. I'm not convinced. I think it's aliens. Uh-uh. It sounds like they're calculating stuff. Mm -mm. Oh my god. You saw that? Can we put can we rewind that? Mm -mm. Dang it. For what? Because I didn't get to really get a good, good look at it. It's just an alien leg. I know, but I didn't get to see if it was a hoof or a toe. Were you trying to match him? Is that why you wear that shirt? Mm hmm I see. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Let's turn on the TV. Yeah, He's let's a turn believer it on. now. Let's go. He's a believer now. Mexico City officials oh my God. fired crafts entered Mexico City airspace. They were not detected by radar by either country. The nerds were right. 
Yeah, I'm loving that little boy, though. This is very important. Everything people have written about in science books is going to change. The history of the world's future is on the TV right now. Is that little Tony? Record the shaking That's crazy. Your is this little Tony? Dad. Find another tape. <laughs> Uncle Merrill, I'm using your tape. <laughs> what did I say? The swimsuit is special. <laughs> this image has not been adjusted or enhanced in any way. What you're seeing is real. It's unbelievable. Everything they wrote in science books is about to change. I told you. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go to sleep either. Some people are probably thinking this is the end of the world. That's true. Do you think it could be? Yes. How can you say that? That wasn't the answer you wanted. Couldn't you pretend to be like you used to be? some comfort people break down into two groups when they experience something lucky group number one sees it as more than luck more than coincidence group number two sees it as just pure luck a happy turn of chance i'm sure the people in group number two are looking at those 14 lights in a very suspicious way for them this situation is a 50 50 could be good dang i was at this party once <sighs> she was just sitting there looking beautiful staring at me like oh Lean in and kiss her. <laughs> and I realize I have to go and let off. Take out the gum, stuff in a paper cup next to the sofa, and turn around. Random McKinney throws up all over herself. I knew the second it happened, it was a mirror. I could have been kissing her when she threw up. I would have scarred me for life. I may never have recovered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a miracle man. <laughs> Those lights are miracles. So which type are you? What type are you? Uh, a mix of both. I don't think everything happens for a reason, but... I do. Then what does it matter? I think we know one trillionth of what there is to know about this universe, not to mention every other universe that there could possibly be. I mean, I don't know. To the last words that Colleen said before they let her die, she said, See. And her eyes glazed a bit. And then she said, Swing away. Because the nerve endings in her brain were firing as she died. And some random memory of us at one of your baseball games just popped into her head. There is no one watching out for us, Meryl. We are all on our own. Oh, so that's why he stopped being a reverend, I see. His wife died and he just lost all his faith, I guess. Seems like it. Yeah, poor guy. Now he's to take care of two kids. I guess that's why that guy moved in, to help him. What do you know? There was an accident, drunk driving, they weren't sure. Well, he wasn't drunk. Clay fell asleep with the first thing Colleen asked her. What ambulance is she in? She's not in an ambulance, Father. Oh, no. What? For the kids' protection. All they were doing was watching TV from 5 a.m. I felt like they were getting obsessed, like you said. Furry rabbit. It's a game, isn't it? Anyways, they closed the schools, and there's been some interesting developments. But they're not really gone. We just can't see them. flew into the area where the lights were hovering last night. It stopped dead in the air and fell straight down. They found a bird. His head was crushed in. They think they have some kind of invisible shield thing going, like, like an optical illusion. They s where? They're in the clouds. There's more of them now. They're invisible, I think they're saying. So for us, even. And they have like a force field and the bird didn't see it. Oh. I think it'd be some kind of... So he's a believer now. Straight up. Kind of landmark visual mapping systems so they could navigate coordinating sense. <laughs> kind of looks like lost. <gasps> so the aliens can't read our minds. <laughs> Is this where the tinfoil hat thing originated? I don't know. Or was that a thing in culture before this? Let us know. Yeah, please, because I have no <laughs> idea. I've seen that so many times on Hecklefish. They tell you everything in this book. It also says they're probably vegetarians. Who wrote this book? <laughs> Persecuted for their beliefs. <laughs> Boy. I can make fun of it and forget it. There he is. I don't know what got into me. There are pictures. Dr. Bimbo, one of the authors of the book, said there are two reasons why extraterrestrials will visit us. Or the other reason, they're hostile. They've used up all the resources on their planet. They're looking to harvest our planet next. I never thought about that. Yeah. No, -uh, I thought they would just take over our minds and stuff and kill us. And do experiments on us. 
Yeah, I was about to say, we actually frequently have these conversations. <laughs> we watch a lot of Y files. If you don't know that, then go check it out. See, the ones like that, I think, are phony. Like our house, doesn't it? It's weird. <gasps> oh my god. That looks like a guy and two kids, did it not? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It wouldn't be their house, though, would it? Everybody in this house needs to calm down, eat some fruit or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Father. Hello? Hello? They untapped his phone. Oh, houses like this are noisy. Mm -hmm. No one leaves this house. No one. Ray Reddy's house. Why? I think he just called here. You don't think something bad will happen to you, Morgan? Is it bad? I won't let anything bad happen to you. I don't want you to die. You said I was gonna die. Oh, no. Tell us. I need to know that information. I don't want to switch scenes so fast. Are they communicating with her? Like telepathically? I don't know. Do you think they've been like low-key trying to get to that spot and contaminating the water? I don't know what's going on with the water, to be honest. I don't know. They said it's a tick, but I think it might mean more than that. Maybe that's how they're invading them. Is they're poisoning their water supply? And she knows it? Maybe. Or senses it? Or they're telling her? Maybe they only like talk to kids or something. Or kids only believe it. How do you know it was that guy? He dialed star six nine? He just has a hunch. Oh. He thinks that it's those people doing everything. No, he said Ray Reddy. Was that not the same guys earlier? Uh-uh. Those are like the Liftons or something like that. Hello, Ray. I wrote your number down to call you. It's been sitting next to the phone for six months. When I knew it was inside the house, I couldn't think of any other number to call. I panicked. Thank you for coming, Father. Worked so long that night. I've never fallen asleep driving before. Ever since. Oh. Um, if I'd have fallen asleep then, I would have ended up in a ditch with a headache. That's who killed his wife. I get it. It had to be at that right moment. 10, 15 seconds when I passed her walking. It was like it was meant to be. I guess if this is the end of the world. I'm screwed, right? People who kill reverend's wives aren't exactly ushered to the front of the line in heaven. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Man? To the lake. The way I see it, this place is marked in crops and such. Can't be any worse than here. Kind of smart thinking. I know what I've done to you. Made you question your faith. I'm truly sorry for what I've done to you and yours. What do you even say? Don't open my pantry, father. Little girl. I locked him in. <gasps> What? what? He just dropped that off like that? That's why he was bleeding, huh? He said, I gotta go. This video was taken yesterday afternoon at his son's seventh birthday in the city of Paso Fundo, Brazil. What you're about to see may disturb him. He scoots in, boy. Children. <laughs> Is that why we picture aliens like that? Because this movie? No, it goes back further than that. Uh uh. Why does he have that, like, try me look, though? Like, evil? Yes, like. Because I don't think they're um here to help. But to be honest, I don't know why they would just pop in like this. Make some crop circles and, and like just show up, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, why are you there by yourself? Don't do that. The police are here. I am with them. I am a police officer. I just want to talk with you. We know all about the hoax. We already took some of your friends downtown in a paddy wagon. He should call <laughs> his friend the sheriff. Where's brother? His brother's really invested right now. Your name and why you did it, and we'll give you the same deal we gave the others. Don't throw your life away, son. <laughs> no, don't do it, dude.
So he's been feeding it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It, That's what you just gathered? Yeah, because the boy said it only they only eat vegetables. Oh, I guess I'm the dumb one. I thought the man was just making a salad and the alien popped in. You got to could, fight and do him in the do him in the room. I mean, it could be that. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, no. <laughs> Go get a mirror. Not a, a weapon. I mean, he probably was just making a soup, but I don't know. I just thought maybe. <gasps> was that real? Was it his hand? Or the alien hand? To be honest, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell either because like he screamed. That happened so fast. It's because he screamed. That's why it confused me. Yeah. Does he have all his fingers? Yeah, he's got his fingers. Okay. So straight. he cut off the alien hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, go take that downtown. <laughs> you better put you you better put you one on too, Mel. Your skin changes colors. That's why we couldn't see him that night. Tell me something, Morgan, in this book of yours. They happen to detail what would happen if they were hostile. Yes. Said they would probably invade. They would use ground tactics, use our technology, or fight an airborne battle. Oh, eventually we would use nuclear weapons, and the planet would be useless to them. Wow. I know that information is ridiculous. We use them anyways. One. They fight and are defeated and have to return again with full forces hundreds, maybe even thousands of years later. That's two. They win. I'm sorry. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Is this really happening? I heard a theory that uh, they don't like places near water. you would be safe from them near a lake or something. Sounds made up. So what does he Google now? Well, he's the smartest one so far. I saw one of them at Ray Reddy's house. I can't be sure, but I got the distinct feeling it wanted to harm me. We can choose to believe this lake idea, pack up and go, or we can stay here, hide inside our home, wait it out. We might be overreacting, but I'm willing to live with that. All those in favor of the lake idea, raise your hand. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> she don't like water. I don't just want to be near the TV. Okay. My vote counts as two. That's bullshit! You're cheating! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. I get two votes because I represent two parents here. We'll be safe here anyway. I don't want to leave home. This is where we live with mom. It's got nothing to do with this. I changed my vote. You can't change your vote. Well, <laughs> you lose. Three to two. I'd be like, y'all would never believe what just happened to me. I just chopped an alien's fingers off. Yeah, but that they didn't even like hear that. He said, I saw one of them at Ray Reddy's house, and they just were like, okay. We're going to board up every window in this house. I'd have put one in my pocket. No boards will do anything. Or brought him over there to show him it's real. Yeah, what is that about? Why? Why? Maybe they have some really weird hands. <laughs> what do you think? You would throw it back? <laughs> You have to throw a little further than that, son. The information we're receiving comes from our affiliates across the world. Oh my god, there's some more. Beijing and Jerusalem as the latest to confirm the appearance of lights. They're appearing at or within one mile of crop signs. They made a map. They're gonna be within a mile of us. Have they attacked anyone yet? Yes. I don't think so. Except for that guy. So states immediately proceeding an attack maneuver was wrong. They're hostile. It's like War of the Worlds. We're going to get back to the windows. You do that. Yeah, have fun. We need you. I feel like I'd be glued to the TV too, kind of freaking out. Some guy had a sign saying it was the end of the world. They won't let anything happen to us, right? No way. Wow. Don't you ever say anything like that again. Send him straight, Uncle Meryl. This movie would look so much different if it took place in the city. People would be running around. I think it's so much creepier that it's not in the city. Yeah. Because no one's here to help you. You're all alone, you know? Yeah, you're like abandoned out there. Unless that cop is like right at your door like she was that one time. There's too many windows in the bedrooms. We don't have enough boards. 
We'll board up the bedroom door. Make some sandwiches. I want spaghetti. We just eat fast, Bo. Spaghetti sounds great. <laughs> and mashed potatoes. <laughs> How about you, Meryl? Chicken teriyaki. Y'all just got y'all just got the groceries like that. I'm going to have a cheeseburger with bacon. Mm. And while he's at it, he can make me some fried brown rice with some vegetables and some bourbon chicken. Mm. Yes, sir. Dang, he was slinging it in there, boy. But you know, if the aliens did invade and they couldn't even open doors and stuff, then we got well, a shot. Just lock them. Just lock your door. That guy stood his own. You know what I'm saying? What's the matter with everyone? Eat. Bo has a bad feeling. I had a dream. We aren't saying a prayer. Eat. I hate you. Why? He was just slinging in the kitchen for y'all. He let mom die. Morgan, I am not wasting one more minute of my <laughs> life on prayer. Now, we are going to enjoy this meal. No one can stop us from enjoying this meal, so enjoy it! <laughs> all right. Since you're all not going to eat, I'm going to try some of everything. <laughs> all in all, not that bad. <laughs> Pretty mild. Aww. Oh, that's tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sucks for him. Not only is he dealing with this, he's still going through his own crisis. And raising two kids by himself, like, I'm probably unemployed. Well, he sells corn, man. Mm. <laughs> he's a corn farmer. I just didn't see the farming equipment. What, they're just cutting that room off? Wait, so they're just gonna ignore that one that they saw at that guy's house? They're just gonna do nothing else about that? I'll tell you what everyone said when you were born, Bo. You came out of your mama, and you didn't even cry. Your eyes are so big and gorgeous. And all the ladies in the room just gasped, and they go, oh, she's like an angel. Then, you know what happened? They put you on the table to clean you up. They say babies that young can't smile, you smile. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Let's go down now. I forgot Isabel. He's gotta go get his dog now. Yep. I would have been got Isabel. What does that mean there? Should we turn off the lights? They already know we're here. Why are they not like in fighting stance? Yeah, he's a farmer. Shouldn't he be having a pitchfork or something? Or something. You gotta have something. Where's their baseball bat? Oh, it might. They might need that. It's on the wall. I remember. You know what happened when you were born? Morgan came out and your mama kept bleeding. They're on the roof. What did your mom want to see you first? Because she had dreamed about you. And she got feeling better. They brought you in. And you just stared at each other for the longest time. And then she said real soft, Hello, Morgan. I'm your mama. You look just how I dreamed. That's a beautiful story, but... That door. Only they wouldn't have... Forgot to board that thing up. Oh, hell no. They look like they have witch's claws. Why'd well, cut off his fingers? That's one less alien about to cut me. I forgot our foil helmets. Have we got anything to wedge against the door now? <laughs> no, we forgot our foil helmets. Are you scared? <laughs> Meryl. I'm looking! Then know our secret thoughts. I'm not ready. You're not ready? Meryl! Got it! Damn, Meryl. He just kept swinging. That's a meme, isn't it? I think I've seen a kid looking like that before on something. Maybe. That Fortnite weapon. To be honest, at this point, I think they're better off opening the door and hitting that Where's thing in the face with that. As long as there's one. I'm okay. 
Well, you need to speak up, little girl. Ooh. Nothing don't work. No shot. Hope they're doing better than we are. That is so freaky. Those aliens are kind of weak, though. What if it's not like they're trying to be hostile? What if they're just trying to communicate? No. They're not trying to get in. They're distracting us. From what? The book says they're probably very good problem solvers. Morgan, give me your flashlight. They used to pour coal down in this basement. So are they about to escape out of it? Or are they about to come in through it? I think they're gonna escape out of it, but if they can read their minds like he says, then they'll know that, right? Yeah. It's getting stronger. I'm close. Oh my God. Why are you standing like that? What? <gasps> oh! I didn't see that. Oh, I got him, I got him, come on. I know it scratched his little face up. Because they, them things got some claws, boy. How did it get its hand in there? Is that the coal shoot? I guess so. Oh no. They're, They're still... ahead of the game. That's what I'm saying. Oh my God. I'm freaking out. We don't have his medicine. Oh, I forgot he has asthma. The little girl's calm though. Hey, Morgan. We'll slow this down together. Feel my chest. Feel it moving in and out. Poor kid. Breathe like me. I Stay with me. Oh no. Oh no. Rich, be strong, baby. It'll pass. It'll pass. Oh no. Don't do this to me again. I hate you. I hate you. Don't be afraid of what's happening. Believe it's going to pass. Believe it. Believe. We don't have to be afraid. Don't be afraid. But I mean, I'll be honest. I'm glad the aliens took a time out. Yeah, me too. Like, they took the... a big break. Together. <sighs> Together. It seems like they would have tried to break in right now. The same. We're the same. We should save the flashlights. Oh, it's that flashback. Race truck swerved off the road and he had a colleen and then a tree. <gasps> oh no. The truck has severed most of her lower half. She won't be safe. Her body is pinned in such a way that it's alive when it shouldn't be alive. And the truck is holding her together. Oh my God. I not feel much. And she's, she's talking almost like normal. Now, Father, do you understand what I've told you? Carolyn, is this the last time I'm gonna talk with my wife? Yes, it is. Well, you better hurry. Oh my God, that would be so tough. Like, what would you say? People think they came here to take over the planet. That's bull. I don't think that. My friend and I saw it. We found a pack of light bulbs. Poisonous. <laughs> Nobody believes me, but they didn't come here for our planet. Lucky as hell they're leaving. How long have we been sleeping? Five hours or so. He said they had poison gas. They secreted in small amounts. What? A lot of people died. They're leaving. They left real fast this morning. They left some of their wounded behind. Where are they going? People must have figured out a way to beat them. You think there's the water? For real? Not, did you? Um, <clears throat> at this point, I don't really know what to think. Because maybe that why that that's why that little girl's leaving it everywhere. There's things I can take. Because she knows more, obviously. One of them I can't take is my older brother, who's everything I want to be. Starts losing faith in things. I saw your eyes last night. I don't want to ever see your eyes like that again. I'm serious. It's been like that for a while. He needs his medicine. Have they said anything about our area? Philadelphia and its outlying counties are cleared. Who knows for sure? I know, did they check their house? If he has another attack right now. I know. I don't know why they left like that. We'd have to be sure before we opened up that door, Graham. Because they didn't just leave. This movie's not over that easy. Mm-mm. It's good enough for me. Me too. Really? I don't know. You just have to have a pickaxe hold your door closed because of one, and you're just gonna... Y'all really bold, but I guess you need that medicine, so 
You should do it. I don't know. I would definitely not stay in my basement. I'd go see. I just hit him with some Fortnite with the thing. That's a beautiful lighting right there, though. Then again, I don't know, man, because they were saying early in the movie, I forgot how fast they were and how they could jump on top of houses so quick. So maybe. Maybe, maybe they would not. outsmart your tail. But they're portraying them to be really slow and just kind of soft, kind of. We may need to give them an F and F friend shot. They're doing this on TV. <laughs> You're dancing. Yeah, like this. What kind of TV is she watching? <laughs> we know the battle turned around in the Middle East. Further details at this time. And why not? Why would you not tell every person in the world how to defeat them in case there's one in your pantry? <gasps> Are you kidding me? It has the boy. Wait. Oh my god, it's blending in. <gasps> this thing has a talon? Hi, sweetie. I was just taking a walk before dinner. You love hawks. It was meant to be. Does it hurt? I don't feel much. Oh my god. Tell for a minute to play games. It's okay to be silly. I will. <laughs> tell Bo to listen to her brother. I will. And tell Grim. I will. Tell him. See. Tell him to see. And tell Meryl to swing away. Baseball bat. Because what kind of person are you? Are you the kind that sees signs? She's miracle. Is it possible there are no coincidences? So what's he saying right now? He's what? saying there's a baseball bat on the wall and that guy needs to swing away and he needs to see that. But was it just a coincidence that she said that? Or was it a real sign? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's the point of the movie sign. Mm -hmm. Meryl, swing away. Dang, Meryl put that together a lot faster than I would. I would be like... Right now? <laughs> he got his hand right. Okay. <laughs> He's about to whoop this. <gasps> the gas! Nice. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that's why she was doing that. Oh, yeah. I just got easy now. <laughs> just grabbed the water hose. We knew the water had to do with something. He still got the bat. You just saw the water worked. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. Why don't they all just go get in the tub? Or get the hose. Like, it's like a gun. Dang. You ripped him. The men done chopped wood on him. It's still breathing. Bro, they just straight up jumped the alien. The alien and walked into the wrong crib. He said, these farm boys ain't gonna do. It can't be luck. His lungs were closed. No poison got in. No poison got in. His lungs were closed. Wow. Graham. Give him a second. Daddy. Don't touch him. Graham. Dad. This little girl tried to trick us. But what happened? Aunt Aunt just beat that alien's ass. That's what just happened. Yeah, you don't got a whole alien carcass in your house, though. <laughs> yeah, they done boarded up that whole house for that one little alien. No, he was scary. He had that whole poison gas. He was, like, ready. He was kind of scary. It's kind of soft, if you ask me. Yeah, unless I had the spray bottle that I get with the <laughs> dog sometimes. He's toast. Winter. Are they still boarded up? No, it look, looks nice. He's back. Back in the priesthood. So I guess he's got some new type of faith that includes all aliens. That was a good movie, guys. Okay, guys, that was Signs 2002. And 
For me, I think it was maybe a four or five out of ten. You gave it a four or five out of ten? You thought it was that bad? I mean, I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I feel like there's something missing from it. Like, I feel like he could have investigated the alien a little more. He believed and then all that happened. Like, he believed for a split second and then all that came in and he, like, did all the stuff with the alien and it was, like, it all kind of felt rushed, I guess. Yeah, so the thing for me is... I didn't think it was a great movie. I didn't think it was a terrible movie. I, uh, five or six stars. Yeah, I mean, maybe five or six stars. The thing is, the movie started out really fun for me. There was so much mystery and intrigue with everything going on. And then that quickly kind of devolved. The water was toxic, so they left. But I guess the thing is, is I had a lot of expectations for this movie. And I guess maybe the movie didn't ask me to have a lot of expectations for it. Right. So it's I wanted to see a lot more. It's probably much simpler than we thought. I guess the concept is very simple, man. The guy loses his wife. He loses his faith. I understand that. So through an invasion, he rekindles his family's relationship. Relationship, refines his faith. I think that's a beautiful part of the story. Problem to me was the alien part didn't well, deliver. But the thing is, it was kind of a the thing is, it was kind of a realistic movie in that sense yeah. because maybe the aliens came, they waited till everyone got there, and then they discovered that the water is toxic to them, so they moved on. Pretty good movie, man. I'm not saying it was the greatest movie I ever watched. I didn't particularly love it, but honestly, when it comes to things like UFOs, big questions, philosophy, things of that nature, I want epic stuff on the TV, guys. Like I want something to hit a little stronger. I want to question things a little better, and I just don't really feel like this film delivered that if you disagree man please let us know in the comment section and, and for any more like this we want to know we want to watch I love, more like this we'll see i love movies like this man i'm very intrigued by this stuff you know it's very interesting but this one kind of weak man. maybe we want a better one if you guys have that suggestion please like we'd love to see it drop it below uh let us know whatever gets the most likes is what we're gonna do follow us on patreon guys if you want that early access stuff like i said five dollars for a flash pass we're not gonna talk too much we're gonna see y'all in the next one peace